What if you could create an infinite series of perfectly consistent characters, same face, same style, same everything in just a few clicks. Recraft's latest update just dropped and it's about to change the AI art game forever. I spent a few hours testing Recraft version 3.1 against Flux 1.1 and the results are honestly mind-blowing. Let me show you exactly why this update is a total game changer. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more AI content. And with that said, let me show you how exactly you can use Recraft AI. First of all, go to the Recraft.ai by clicking the link in the video description below. Click on log in here and make sure that you sign up by using the Google account. It's actually the easiest way. Now, once you are here, you will pretty much see the first page. And let me show you here a few examples which I generated and I think they are absolutely fantastic. So here, if I zoom in a little bit, we have here the first image. Overall, I generated this one with this model right here, Recreat version 3, and I think it did a wonderful job generating this image. Now, if you move on to the next one, which is this one, this one also has some of really cool details, very natural look, and overall, I'm quite happy with this image as well. Now, if we move on to the next Next one, which is this one right here. Overall, this one looks very, very nicely, looks very realistic. And I think that I generated this one with this photo real model right here, which is available right now on Recraft version 3.1, as well as this one. This one has a really nice bokeh effect, as you can see, and it's also very, very detailed. For the next one here, I also think we have really nice bokeh effect. We have the main character exposed, and overall, it's a great look on this image. And now the last one, this one is no exception. I think this one looks also very nice and for the AI image every single one here is acceptable. Now let me just show you how you can create this easily high quality images on this platform. So first of all let me just zoom out a bit let's go to the 25% here. Now once you have here the blank canvas you can simply click here on the image and this will show you here this square. Now you have here a Recraft version 3 and this one is the latest model so raw and if you want different styles you have here also photorealism, you have vector art, illustration, you can even go to the studio photo or even HDR. I'll generate right now one image using Recraft version 3 raw and let's click on here and we already have it selected. Now for the aspect ratio I will change the slider here to 16 by 9. Now here you will see here the prompt window so for for the prompt, I will go to ChatGPT and I will ask ChatGPT to generate an image prompt about a woman 24 year old standing on the sidewalk wearing elegant clothes. Here I'll click on this and by the way guys, if you guys are enjoying this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now I will just copy it and let's go back here to the Recraft. Now here on the Recraft, here on the left you have the image prompt window, I will just paste this inside. And now if you click here, you can also exclude for the image. Or if you click here on this palette here, you can also add the colors or the background and you can even create your own palette as well. Now, I think this is pretty much it for our prompt. Let's click on Recraft and right now you will see guys how the actual results look like and we will get two of the images. Of course, on Recraft, the generations are quite fast. However, keep in mind that with the free account, you only get 50 credits in 24 hours. So keep in mind here, as you can see here on the top right, 50 free credits will be renewed in 24 hours. By the way, if you haven't already signed up for this platform, make sure that you use the link in the video description below. And now we have here the first image and the second one here as well. And now let's try another method as well, which is by using the photorealism. Here I'll click on image and here I'll click on photorealism. And we have, you can see here that we have the same prompt and we will have to change this to 16 by 9 so it matches the first image generated with the Recraft version 3 raw. Now I'm quite happy with the settings here and you can click on the Recraft and you can also see here down below that you have other option which is called Christmas size. So this will make the image more in a Christmas spirit. So if you want that you can simply toggle this option on and I will just show you in a minute how this image actually looks like. And now here you can see clear difference between the raw model and the photorealism model. And I think that overall the photorealism did a pretty 
pretty good job, if not even better compared to the raw model of the Recraft version 3.1. And let me just show you right now the Christmas size option here as well. So I will click on image and I will use the same prompt here. I will change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. And uh, here I will enable the Christmas size option. Click on Recraft and now you will see the results, what they look like using the Christmas size option. Here we have it. So this is our first image. I think this one looks even better. As you can see, we used here Recraft version 3 raw model. And if we go back to this one, we already have the second one. This one also looks okay. Overall, I'm quite happy with the images from Recraft. I will just copy the same prompt and we will have to compare the images right here to the Flux 1.1 Pro. And later in the video, I will also show you how you guys can convert these images into the consistent characters. Let's go here to the Flux 1.1 Pro AI image generator. I will leave a link for this website in the video description below. You get 10 credits if you sign up and the image, this one will take eight credits. So basically one image on this platform. I will just paste the prompt right here. And we have here the same aspect ratio as on Recraft 16 by nine. And now we also have the seed. I will just leave it as it is. And right now let's click on the run. And I think we will only get one image here on this platform. And here you can see the message, please wait for about 30 seconds while we generate your image. And uh, you can see here that we have image generate success. And right now it's fetching the actual image right here. And you can see here the feed. Overall, I think that this image also looks very, very good. I'll click here to download the image because we will have to upload it to another platform to change its face. And then let me know in the comment section, which face do you think or which image actually looks better with a different face. So let's go back here to the Recraft. And here what we will have to do is to generate an image of a face. Here I'll click on image, change the aspect ratio to 111. And here I will go to ChatGPT and ask it to generate an image prompt for the close-up of a face. And that is pretty much it. Let's click on enter. A close-up portrait of a 24-year-old woman's face. She has smooth, radiant skin with subtle natural makeup that enhances her features. Her expressive eyes are framed by well-groomed eyebrows and her lips have a soft, neutral tone. Her hair is styled neatly, framing her face elegantly. The background is softly blurred, ensuring the focus remains on her face with warm natural lighting, highlighting her youthful and confident expression. Okay, overall, I think the prompt is okay here and it should do the thing. Let's click on copy and let's go back to the recraft. So one thing which I'll do here, I will just generate one with the raw model and then I'm going to generate one with the photo realism. So let's click on recraft right here and hopefully we'll get one usable portrait image here. So here we have two of the faces using the Recraft version 3 raw model. And right now I'll try to generate the same image using the photo real model here as well. And then I'll choose one and try to make a consistent character out of it. So here we have the same prompt and click on Recraft. And let's see what will happen right here right now. Okay, now we have here two of the images. I think that actually maybe the second model, so the the model with the photo reel in its name has better portrait right here. So you can download the images using this model by right clicking here and clicking on export and then you can click on PNG. And now I will do the same for other images here as well. So I will go back here and now to swap the face, we are going to use this platform, which is AIEase.ai swap face feature. I will also put a link for this website in the video description below. And right now, make sure that you watch until the end for the complete result between the Flux and the Recraft version 3.1. Now here you have to upload the face you want to use. So I'll click on upload here and click this on, uh, on this image. So a close up of a woman's face. And now I will have to upload the image and let's click on this. And let's click on swap face and hopefully we will get a very usable image right here. Let's click on download and let me just show you result in a few minutes. Let me just upload another image here for a close up and let me upload the image from Flux and then we will see complete result right here. Let's click on swap face and uh, let's see the actual results. So overall, I think that both images look very, very nice. We also have very similar faces, structure of the face, at least on both of the images. Of course, the image from the Recraft is from the side. 
and the image from the flux is on straight on and i think that both of them are very very usable and that the swap face feature from the ai website called aiease.ai actually did a pretty good job swapping the faces from the original ones overall i think that maybe the recraft would have the actual edge in terms of how many images you can actually generate completely for free of course you can always upgrade to the paid model or even create different burner account on both of the platforms so overall i will give an edge to the recraft 3.1 please let me know in the comment section if you agree with me and if you enjoyed this type of video make sure that you smash up the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and with that said have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you all around in the next video